Susan Tucker was born October 20th, 1864 at Morgan, Morgan County, Utah, and married August 14th, 1885 in the Logan Temple to John James Simmons. She bore him 10 children. He died 29 June, 1962, aged 98 at Ogden, Weber County, Utah, and was buried 2 July at Morgan, Utah. Susan died November 17, 1940, aged 76, at Oakley, Cassia County, Idaho, and was buried 21 November in the Oakley Cemetery. James Henry Tucker was born April 3, 1867, at Morgan, Morgan County, Utah, and married December 3rd, 1890, in the Logan Temple to Rebecca Althera Tonks. She bore him seven children. Rebecca died 29 March, 1938, aged 66, at Ogden, Weber County, Utah, and was buried 2 April at Morgan, Utah. James Henry died May 1, 1935, aged 68, at Morgan, and was buried 4 May in the South Morgan Cemetery. Emily Elizabeth Tucker was born November 25, 1869, at Morgan, Morgan County, Utah, and married September 23, 1891, in the Logan Temple to Gibson Asher Condy. She bore him eight children. Gibson died 2 November 1958, aged 92, at Stephenville, Montana, and was buried 7 November at Whittier, Los Angeles County, California. Emily Elizabeth died November 4, 1952, aged 82, at Alhambra, Los Angeles County, California, and was buried 8 November in the Rose Hills Memorial Park Cemetery at Whittier, California. Lucy Grace Tucker was born October 30th, 1871 at Morgan, Morgan County, Utah, and married August 25th, 1897 in the Salt Lake Temple to Edward Wheatley Jones. She bore him eight children. Edward died 13 February 1954, aged 78, at Cowley, Bighorn County, Wyoming, and was buried at Penrose, Park County, Wyoming. Lucy Grace died May 16, 1934, aged 62, at Byron, Bighorn County, Wyoming, and was buried 19 May in the Penrose, Wyoming Cemetery. Bertha Augusta Tucker was born September 24, 1874, at Morgan, Morgan County, Utah, and married October 12, 1898, in the Salt Lake Temple, to George Ernest Spackman. She bore him six children. George Ernest died 15 December 1954, age 83, at Farmington, Davis County, Utah, and was buried 18 December at Farmington. Bertha Augusta died March 3, 1959, age 84, at Farmington, Davis County, Utah, and was buried 6 March in the Farmington City Cemetery. Annie Tucker was born September 13, 1876, at Morgan, Morgan County, Utah, and married October 23, 1896, in Summit County, Utah, to James Peter Clark. She bore him four children. James Peter died 21 August 1943, aged 67, at Elko, Elko County, Nevada, and was buried 25 August at Carlin, Elko County, Nevada. Annie died January 26, 1950, age 73, at Elko, Elko County, Nevada, and is buried in the Carlin, Nevada Cemetery. 
Rose Lerwill Tucker was born June 28, 1878, at Morgan, Morgan County, Utah, and married 8 November 1900 at Morgan, Morgan County, Utah, to Charles Leroy Van Orden. She bore him seven children. Charles Leroy died 27 June 1961, age 81, at Rigby, Jefferson County, Idaho, and was buried 1 July at Goshen, Bingham County, Idaho. Rose died July 17, 1950, age 72, at Goshen, Bingham County, Idaho, and was buried 21 July in the Goshen, Idaho Cemetery. Lily Lerwell Tucker, a twin, was also born June 28, 1878, at Morgan, Morgan County, Utah, and married November 27, 1901, in the Logan Temple, to Willis Alvin Smith. She bore him eight children. Willis Alvin died 25 January 1953, age 72, at Bountiful, Davis County, Utah, and was buried 29 January in the Bountiful City Cemetery. Lily died December 30, 1953, age 75, at Bountiful, Davis County, Utah, and was buried 4 January in the Bountiful City Cemetery. Jeanette Lerwell Tucker was born August 24, 1880, at Morgan, Morgan County, Utah, and married December 12, 1901, at Morgan, to Norman Andrew Gorder. She bore him six children. Norman Andrew died 1 April 1958, age 77, at Milton, Morgan County, Utah. Jeanette died February 7, 1962, age 81, at Ogden, Weber County, Utah, and was buried 10 February in the Milton, Morgan County Cemetery. William Lerwell Tucker was born March 29, 1885, at Morgan, Morgan County, Utah, and married February 27, 1907, in the Salt Lake Temple, to Naoma Virginia Vincent. She bore him four children. Naoma Virginia died 12 October 1972, age 83. William died March 23, 1942, age 56, at Morgan, in a train accident. On Saturday, the 9th of June, in 1921, a Tucker family reunion was held. Louisa Spackman Manning has contributed the following article from the Deseret News. Morgan, Utah, June 20. A James Tucker homecoming and family reunion was held in the Morgan County High School building, South Morgan, Utah, June 9, 1921. The family and invited guests assembled in the auditorium at 11 a.m. where a program was given. Father James Tucker feelingly expressed his gratitude and joy in meeting all his children and so many of his grandchildren and friends on this occasion. With feelings of pride, he referred to his two sons, their wives, and his ten daughters, their husbands and children. He thought he had a rare family, he said, twelve children, all living, seventy-four grandchildren, and forty-one great-grandchildren living today. Seven of his descendants have filled foreign missions. All are highly respected as far as he knew. No immoral conduct divorces or scandals had stained their good names.